folks let me explain you the putty configuration it hardly takes 2 minutes however if it is not working continue in the terminal itself right you'll be using this terminal right continue in the terminal itself actually right but give it a try mostly putty work if it is not working please go ahead with the usual terminal in the menu for itself now let's get started it's a very simple process it's almost two step process it is okay number one is changing the network adapter right get ip address from cloudera give it in putty with the username password cloudera cloudera that's it right now let's go for step one now go to the cloudera you can go here or if it's cloudera switched off you can go here also anything is okay either you can go here or go here we have to change the network adapter now go to this i'm going here you can go with settings either you can go with settings here or you can also go settings in this box also at the top you have mission right at the top you have mission actually ultimately you have to go for the settings okay you can go with mission here or you can go with anything so let me go both so first go with the mission settings or else go for settings anything will work here you have settings right now go to settings this box will appear network it would be nat for all of you try for bridged adapter give okay now the next step is once changed go to the cloudera box there would be a double computer here please check there would be a double computer here this you have to click all right see click it just auto eth one just click it it will revolve for some time and it will come back then click the terminal now click the terminal okay now we click the terminal terminal will open type if config if config it's not ip if config now you'll get the inet address see inet address 168 sorry 192 168 16 this will vary computer to computer right so this you have to do and go to the softwares where you have down we are where you have downloaded the putty all right just go to the software where you downloaded the putty right here you have putty available if you don't have putty you can easily download putty go to the browser type putty download go to the first link go to the download putty option in the first one and just click this just the click first one right just click the first one this this link must be clicked it gets downloaded right for me it's already there it's not required but if you want just click it just click it it gets downloaded see it got downloaded here now what you do open this right this will open now type that ip address which i told you 192.168.16 192.168.1.6 a pop up might come give accept give username as cloudera small okay password scans cloudera c o u l c o sorry c l o u right c l o u d e r a it will not be shown but it will type at the back end return that's it your cloudera is on two things you have to be careful right if sometimes this ip address may not be shown to us after you type it that time what you have to do go to the settings back if it is not showing i'm telling you go to the settings back change that network adapter to host only instead host only instead right and same process again give okay go to the virtual box type the double computer at the top this will open right and again you'll have to click auto eth auto eth it will select 
and type if configure that. You will get that. Either plan A, plan B will work. New IP address. But this IP address keeps changing. So take care. Thank you. Do it immediately.